episode of Stevie Boy Eats. I'm going to do this live for y'all. Um, I am back in Maryland. As you can see, the kitchen has changed. I am in the process of moving to another house right now. Let's get started. Tonight, I am going to be making steak with mashed potatoes and broccoli. Let's get started. Here is my steak, just regular steak. Um, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, parsley, saison, a little adobo, and my secret to making the steak, steak really juicy is to add Irish butter. This kind of butter right here. And no, this isn't sponsored. Irish butter is my favorite. Okay, set the oven for 350, and we're gonna cook this covered for about 10 minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, so rock with me one second. Now for our broccoli mix. All right, so in here we have broccoli, we have red onion, and we have some peppers. They're the sweet peppers. We have some Irish butter. And what I'm gonna do is mix this all together and drip, drizzle some olive oil over it. The seasoning is, of course, my good old Creole seasoning. I added a little bit of Italian, I added some Saison, a pinch of salt, and a lot of black pepper. Don't worry about the black pepper and the other seasonings. Everything is gonna mesh well together with that Irish butter and that olive oil. Let's get this mixed together. And then we're gonna cover it and we're gonna also put it in the oven as well at 350 for about 20 minutes. All right, next we have everything covered. We are going to open up our oven that is set at 350, put in our steak that is covered. Make sure everything is covered and there's no way for any air to escape. And then we're gonna put in our broccoli. We're gonna set our timer for actually 20 minutes, even for both. And then we're gonna come back and check it. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to make my mashed potatoes. Okay, there's always a shortcut with me. I'm not in the mood to boil potatoes. I'm not in the mood to clean this glass stove. I'm not in the mood to take out any of my other stuff that I could use to make mashed potatoes. So what, instead of getting box mashed potatoes, in which I do not believe in, however, I do believe in the Bob Evans mashed potatoes that you can get in a container that's already made in the refrigerator. mashed potatoes they don't have any flavoring to them i added in some creole seasoning a pinch of salt black pepper some parsley flakes irish butter if i didn't say that yet and my secret is sour cream so let's mix that together and i'll come back to you i prefer instead of making fresh mashed potatoes to use the container kind in the refrigerator section look at that Really simple. I haven't even cooked it yet. I haven't even put it in the microwave. As soon as I do, I'll come back to you. But in the meantime, we're going to wait on our steak and our broccoli to cook. Um, there's a process, a technique that I use when I'm uh, cooking this way. So I will show it to you. Here we go. Okay, so this is optional, but I'm gonna be doing this because I will be broiling the steak to create a nice, beautiful, amazing, uh, what word am I trying to look for? Uh, glaze. So I'm going to use organic honey, Irish butter. I'm going to mix the two together, melt it on top of the steak underneath the broiler, and that's going to add a nice little glaze to it to finish it off. We have about five more minutes before I have to take the steak out and uh, let it rest. All right, so the steak has been in the oven for about 20 minutes now. I am now going to take it out of the oven. And show you what it looks like okay look at that isn't that beautiful only 20 minutes covered it is not um, first of all the steak is actually done you could eat it like this but we're not gonna do that we're gonna actually use some of these juices to create a gravy for the side it's optional and then the other thing we're going to do is let this sit before we put it back onto the broiler and the reason why is because I want to have one that is completely glazed with that honey and that Irish butter all right come back to you in 15 minutes okay now i love a good microwave i'm telling you remember the mashed potatoes they need gravy take the drippings these are the drippings from the steak and all you have to do is add in one ingredient flour mix together really well throw it back in the microwave and that's how you create your gravy very simple you can season the gravy however you want it's all up to you I'm really good at this. And just like that, you have gravy. 
Now, a lot of you probably gonna be like, what about the clumps? You know, a lot of people say that growing up about the clumps and stuff like that with flour, but you just gotta mix it. That's all you gotta do and make sure it's cooked thoroughly. Um, it really only takes about a minute and 30 seconds in the microwave to create a really good gravy from scratch. Let's check on our broccoli. Actually, let's just go ahead and tell you right now. Take the aluminum foil off the broccoli and just keep cooking it. Right, here's the last step. Here's our broccoli. It is now uncovered. We're going That's it. I mean, I'm not tooting my own horn, but everybody ate their portion. That's all I got left. Thanks for watching, y'all. Oh, looking here, ass boy.